a karmic union, okay? And y'all always you just know I am always talking about if somebody from your past, you cut them off, you keep them in the past. I'm never, I will never, um, you know, tell y'all to to get with somebody that um that treated you like shit. No, no, I, I'm the first one to tell you to keep them motherfuckers in the past. They 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 had your love. They decided to treat you like shit. They didn't respect you. They didn't um, you know, they didn't respect you. They didn't love you. They didn't value you. That's their fault. That's their problem. All right, now they fumbled the ball, so now you're gonna get. They lost their place as they should, because they should have never treated you that way. And we had to learn this les these lessons too, guys. To, you know what I mean? Um, to to not allow people to treat us the way that we've been letting people treat us. All right, and and we've been learning these lessons, and because we have been, um, you know, and just be aware too, like. You know, you're getting so close to this union, it's coming, it's coming, all right? Your actual true twin is not going to treat you like shit. You know, it's your, it's someone's going to treat you the way that you treat other people, all right? Your mirroring soul, all right? The love, all the love and um, loyalty and um, honesty and, and greatness that you, you put out to other people, they're going to put it into you, all right? So, like, you know, just keep that in mind. And um, just know that, like, you're especially a false lame. They know that, like, their time is running out, okay? Their whole sole mission was to stop you, to end you, to make sure you didn't come into this union. So they might be trying to reach back to you, trying to, get, like, snake their way back in. Um, it's very important for you to keep your sword up against them people and don't allow them back in, okay? Because they're not coming. They're they're just trying to come in. They're not coming in. And even if they say, oh, I changed. No, they fucking didn't. No, they didn't. They're just changing their snake ways to, like, get even more sneak closer and sneakier they're trying to finish their job because they know once you come into this union with your twin flame there's no reason for them to be here anymore their sole mission is completed because you know they were unable they failed at their mission and you're not failing collective you're not going to fail your mission you're fucking winning your mission you've made it this far you're going to keep going you're right there you're right at the fucking finish line and like you're you're making it through and unfortunately your, your false flame is not all right that's their fault okay it's their fault they're weak not you don't allow them to come in and finish the job okay you're gonna make that race you're gonna you're gonna you know you're the one winning this shit all right while they're getting ass whoopings wow they get defeated right they they chose the wrong fucking they chose the wrong side quite clearly and obviously holy spirit divine spirit angels ancestors and loved ones have passed away what does the club thank you yeah, they're missing out on opportunities and everything else. Now, your your twin flame is now enlightened to who you are to them. They don't want to lose out on you. They realize you are their blessing and that they are your blessing. You are each other's blessing. They don't want to miss out on that. That's why they're coming in with all this love and protection. They're holding on to you and only you. All right. And um, this is absolutely beautiful. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, angels, ancestors, and loved ones have passed away. What does the collective need to know? Yeah, the Empress. Okay, this could either, this is you or them. You're, well, you're both very, you know, you're both very creative, very fertile. Um, you're, you know, all the queens embodied in one. This could either be your, your twin flame is either the empress or you are, you know what I mean? Like, put the roles where they fit. Um, somebody could be a third, you know, like a junior or like a third. Somebody could be a third. But you're very creative. You're very fertile. Um, they don't want to miss out on this too. I, I feel like they want to come work with you too, in some sort of way. With your like, you know, maybe help you get like, you know, um, established and like maybe it's to help. Maybe they have more resources than you do to get you and whatever you're working on, whatever your creativity, your fertility is, whatever you're working on to help you get out there more. Possibly that's not for everybody, but that is for somebody. You're both very powerful, very attractive, very good looking, um, inside and out. You get the attentions, like you both get the attention wherever you go. Um, yeah. And you're very powerful, very, very, you are both extremely powerful, spiritually powerful. All right. Very much so powerful. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, the Ancestors, and Love. There's a message being blocked. Um, we have the page of, the page of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody, they might have tried to reach out to you, or they're trying to, they don't know how to, or, um, 
somebody could have blocked a message from them or they're just going to come through without like without even they might just show up they might even be that they might just show the fuck up to come like like rescue you pretty much like a rescue mission is what i just heard <laughs> i don't fucking know um they might just like they might not even contact you they might just show the fuck up i don't know that's for somebody And, like, I don't know why I'm getting this, but, um, Spirit's letting me know to tell you that this person was not, maybe, oh, okay, that's what it was. It's possibly, um, somebody could have possibly tried to offer your divine counterpart, like, incentive, like, a money or something. They could have tried to bribe them, your twin fame, I mean, they could have tried to bribe them not to come to you. Um, they didn't take that offer. They didn't take that bribe. They're like, no, fuck no. They could have offered them, a, like, a lot of money or something, too, to possibly walk away from you. But they said, no, they're coming in to protect you. They love you. They know who you are. They don't want to miss out on any opportunities with you um they truly you know love you with all their heart and soul that's absolutely beautiful the page of wands in the reverse They might have some sort of like you or them. Somebody they might might have like some sort of like low self esteem issues. If you're if you're if you um all right, which is you know most of us have like you know went through this, uh, and it's because of how we've been treated from confirmation from our um from everybody in our in our past. Okay, they purposely did this. They didn't want you to. They seen your. They always seen your shine. They always seen your beauty. Um, they didn't want you to see it. Okay, so they they. They did everything they could to make you feel unworthy because if you only knew how beautiful, how amazing you truly are, then, um, you know, your your past people were afraid that you would leave them and you would, you know, if they if you only knew how you know, your worth and how valuable and beautiful and amazing you are, um, they're afraid that you would walk away. That's why they also treat you like shit too. Men are so fucking, I don't know, the way men think are just, are weird, okay? Sometimes, not all men, but some, but, um... That's why they do this now. There's, I need you to know and realize and understand that you are absolutely fucking amazing. You are literally, you really are gorgeous. You are so beautiful. You are so handsome inside and out. Um, and you need to really work on the self-esteem thing. It's either you or it could possibly be your twin flame. They might have like a little, they might be a little nervous. They might think that you're not attracted to them or some shit. I don't fucking know. Um, or you might be feeling this way. Uh, but just know like, you know, um, there's like things you can do to help like build your self-esteem like for one it's like it sounds stupid guys it does but it really seriously works like i used to have to low with like the worst self-esteem like i had none because of the way that people um the way the people treated me you know especially my exes and stuff um and like i had the lowest self-esteem but everyone's like what are you talking about missy you're fucking gorgeous da -da -da -da. and i died i thought people were just saying that um and so I finally, you know, I had my awakening and then like I, I worked on myself and I healed um, all the, my, you know, wounds. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck am I talking about? Are you kidding me? Like, what, what the fuck was I ever thinking? I am, I am very gorgeous. And, but the, like the way, the way um, to help you build what I've done, like, it's like a stupid little things, okay? Say affirmations every day. Um, and like look in the mirror. When you're looking in the mirror, you want to always start from the bottom and look yourself up. It's a psychological, it's um, something to do with like, a conscious thing and a psychological thing and it seriously does work guys i'm telling you just try it out what's what's the worst that's gonna happen all right it's just just try it out but every time you look in the mirror never look at yourself at this from the top and look down when you when you want to look in the mirror you always start from the bottom and look yourself up okay and it's it's um a psychological and uh um you know a conscious thing and it's going to raise your your just little things like that i'm telling you it really works i told my homie mike to do this and you know um my friend mike you know my neighbor and he you know um and i, I can tell it's it's been working with him but like you always want to look yourself from the mirror like start from the bottom of the mirror and look yourself up okay because when you start from the top which most once i say this now you're going to realize oh shit you probably do you probably look at yourself you start from the top and you look down you don't want to do that that's like you looking down on yourself so you want to start from the bottom look yourself up smile when you look in the mirror anytime you're, you're in front of a mirror you always never talk bad about yourself because that's a form of like mirror magic what you want to do is when you're in a mirror um always 
talk good about yourself, you know, even if you don't believe it at first, um, which you might, if you have low self-esteem, you might not believe it at first, but just try it out, just trust me on this, you know, when you're in the mirror, it's like, I am beautiful, I am handsome, I am courageous, I am strong, I am powerful, say, like, you know, out loud, um, you don't even, and if you're around people and you're embarrassed or whatever, and you don't want to say it out loud, at least say it in your head, okay, and whenever you get the chance to say it out loud, say it out loud, all right, and who gives a fuck what people think about you and what they say about you, all right, because I guarantee you they probably do it too, and they don't want you to know that they do it, because they don't want you to know this powerful tool, so you just always speak, you know, um, um, and always speak good about yourself, all right, don't speak bad about yourself, all right, everything, like, um, because if you speak bad about yourself, you're going to, um, attract bad things, negative things in your life, okay, you want to speak things into existence, and just realize your value, and your worth, and just every day, get up, like, I'm beautiful, I'm handsome, you know, and think of, you know, every day, just like, when you're looking in the mirror, it's like, pick something of yourself that you, that you like about yourself, like, I love my eyes, so, like, you have beautiful eyes. I have beautiful eyes. You know what I mean? Um, and just say little things like that. And every day, like, try to pick another thing that you like. Like, oh, I fucking, I'm rocking that mullet today. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, they thought they were going to take me down. I'm fucking rocking it, you know? Um, I have a weird sudden sense of humor. I just like to joke around a lot. So, you know? But, you know, just the stuff like that, okay? So, just, you know, just little things like that. And it's going to help you build your self-esteem, all right? And, and it really seriously works. And every day, just say something, even if you're not in, like, but I'm especially when you're in front of the mirror, never, ever talk bad about yourself. It's very important you never talk bad about yourself in front of the mirror, all right? Um, but in, if anything, only talk good about yourself in front of the mirror. You should never talk bad about yourself, period, because you're going to attract negative things. Whatever you're speaking out, you're going to attract. So always speak good on yourself. Speak um, greatness into your life. And when you're manifesting, you want to um, you speak it into existence. And you also you want to live as though and, and feel as though it's already been done. All right? Like uh, you can write it down to three, six, nine. Okay. You can write three times in the morning, six times in the afternoon, nine times in the night, whatever you're trying to manifest. All right. And write it down and speak it into existence. And you want to use a blue pen when you're writing it down because the, the color blue, it's, um, for protection. And also it'll help your manifestations come, come in even sooner too. Like it's, you know, all this stuff, it sounds weird. It sounds crazy, but it's, it's seriously real guys. It really is. Uh, a lot of you do know about this now, but if you don't know, just try, just try them out. Just try these tips out. Look at Jim Carrey. He wrote, what was it, $10 million or some shit like that? He wrote on a check when he was 